Welcome back. What we're doing today is we're gonna mount a granite granite bar. You guys know I've been waiting to mount this for a while, so we only ran into one problem so far and I'll show you what that is. Okay, I got these brackets right here, which are really nice because the bar can hang off the side. The problem is, um, so you, can, you got different places you can screw them in, and countersinks, you can just put some silicone down here and glue it down. The problem is, is I had plywood on here and I took that plywood off and we have to notch this out so that bar will fit flush because this side is higher than the other side. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to chisel this out. And the trick is, is we have three of them. So the center one has to be chiseled out, but only halfway. And then we gotta put a level and this is gonna stay the way it is. So I'm gonna gunk glue on this, gunk some glue, maybe a shim here just for weight and then glue it. And then set the whole bar on top of it with like three guys because it's a challenge. So we'll, We'll see what we can do here. So I just hacksawed through this, hacksawed through that. What would be nice right about now is a router, but I don't have one. I don't even have a chisel. I think it's time to invest in a chisel. Problem is you can't go too low, because then it won't sit right. You gotta get it just right. I kinda just went in a neighbor's garage and took it. The door was open, you know? He don't care. I'll bring it back to him in an hour. I gotta get a nice set of uh, tools, because I gotta, I gotta get a nice set of chisels, because I, I really, I use them all the time for stuff like this. So you, you can never go wrong with owning tools. That's, what, that's, my, new, that's my new thing. a lot better guys you need a tool for the job you know I'm just trying to be careful I don't take too much off I'm trying to get this piece counter sunk in there now, this comes out pretty easy Okay, so we, we leveled it this way too, and you better be dead on. There's screws here where you can, whoops, you can put the screws in. You better be dead on with this. I mean, dead on. Be, it better be level this way and this way because that granite will crack and you'll be sorry. Dead level. Take your time right here, guys. Take your time. Okay, so this one's flush all the way. The next, next one's going to have to be halfway in, kind of. I got to take all this off, clean it, and measure it level it. See if I, my level will reach and no it won't. <laughs> level won't reach, darn it. That side's gotta come up a sliver more but it's, it's really close. So I think I'm gonna just fly with that. Now these brackets, I got them from Amazon and they're pretty thick guys. I don't know if you can see that. I won't focus but these are pretty thick. I got these on Amazon, they're just steel bars with the countersunk holes here so everything can sit, sit flush. And these were $29. Usually they're like 60 or 70. It's crazy how much steel costs. It's ridiculous. But I was shopping around. I knew I wasn't in a rush. So, and all you do is you put regular silicone on. That's all you have to do. I usually use clear. So, when you put these on here, you silicone all this, and the bar, the, the it'll sit on here, the granite. Now, the reason why you don't use hard, super hard glue or anything like that. Oh, this camera's a little low. The reason why you don't use super hard glue or anything like that is because if you're gonna take it off one day, you can take it off. This isn't going anywhere. Granite's so heavy, it's not going anywhere. It's all you use is silicone. There's no special trick to this, guys. No, there's no special trick. So I'm gonna screw this one down right now. You wanna hang it over about that much. I already measured it, so. Ooh, you know what? Will these go through? Good thing to put the bigger screws in the back because the weight's gonna be on the front, right? You gotta get these right in the center. Kind of look, see if they're straight. It's not gonna really make a world of a difference because you're gonna, these are gonna be underneath. It's not gonna make a huge difference, guys. I almost got all my weight on, it's not going anywhere. 
The only reason I'm countersinking them here is because I built the bar wrong. It's kind of tilted this way. I didn't build it wrong. The floor, it's like it was an old garage, so the floor went down this way, so I gotta have to, I can put trim underneath it, so you're not even gonna notice the difference. Yeah, see, it's not level, and now it is. Yeah, I'll start with halfway and see what it comes up with, because I'll measure right here, and you got, you're almost level. If you hear any shooting, that's because they're shooting next door. Really, it's not gonna be much. I'm not taking much out of here. Okay, this is what it looks like finished. Um, they're straight as an arrow, and um, they're mounted under good. This one's completely flush, just barely up, up, but just barely. This one's almost halfway, but almost all the way in. And this one's totally all the way out. I found a burr on here, so I had to, I had to chip it off a metal burr. So, so this, clean it all nice and put some silicone down, put the bar on it, be done with it. Then, you don't have to cut out the drywall and make a mess here. It's like free hanging. It's pretty cool. Now it's time to bug the neighbors again. <laughs> because how else are we going to do this? Let me get you in the kitchen so they don't knock the camera over. They're shooting right now, so I might have to wait a little bit. Oh, sorry guys. I didn't put on camera. I just, they, they were here. I just didn't put on camera. But I forgot to show you what I did. Have you seen it? Yeah, she put the French bar on. French fry did all that. No, Danny and... Uh, Thank you for the help, Danny and Austin. Yeah, thanks for the help, Danny and Austin. So, here's a bar dead, dead, dead on. With a seven and a half, it's almost seven and a half inch overhang, and the rest is about three and a half. So we have a nice granite bar here. Here's a picture of the bar. Here's the granite. And right here, you can see the, they're kind of just holding it up. So you can see, guys, they're, they're holding the whole bar up. And you see how the over swing right there? Now I'm gonna put trim inside there too. I'm gonna to trim it all. But for right now, you don't need to. We're just gonna get some tall bar stools. And that's how you put granite on whatever you wanna put it on. <laughs> it's that easy. You just use silicone. Because if you ever wanna take it off one day, you're screwed if you don't use silicone. You, you, there's, a, there's a big thing when you build, you can do overkill. Because I guarantee you, if I try taking that off tomorrow, it, it just won't come off. You gotta like use some wire and get that. It's just, it's not going anywhere, so. That's our kitchen we put together. We still gotta finish it. That's our two girls. The white one almost died the other day, but she's doing good now. Look at her. She's her doing tail good. Up. She's not even healthy now. Ooh, she wants some num num, doesn't she? Gizzy. I mean, this was a was a garage at one time. You could tell. Look, I got the camera system up here on the left side of the cameras up there in the DVR box. But you can tell this was a garage because look, I left some evidence. See you guys tomorrow. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.